Since 1981, this has been a popular stop on the Walk of Fame. Today, the star was adorned with flowers as people gathered to remember the life and work of an idol. I will remember her as being kind, absolutely wonderful and courteous to everybody. And then, you know, they tell me about it, stud with a cigarette. And, uh, you know, I was there that day and it's one of those things you just don't forget. But her legacy spans far further than Hollywood. Flowers were also laid at the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Wellness and Research Centre in Melbourne. She said it was a dream to build it to support others through their cancer journey. She was warm and generous and kind and beautiful and uh, just so loving. She was just a gift walking into a room. She gave that so freely and she loved doing it and, uh, and I know the patients who got to spend time with her really enjoyed uh, her visits as well. For those who knew her well, the loss is difficult to quantify. Personally, that, that, just that laugh of hers was an inf just an infectious laugh. And, and the goodness, she just, she just emanates goodness. You know, to be in the company of Olivia, whether it's here or wherever, it's just, you just feel better about yourself and about the world when she's, she's around and, and, and when she was in it. Social media was filled with posts from adoring fans and friends around the world. John Travolta was, of course, beside her in her most iconic role. Sandy Olsen and Danny Zuko, the dynamic duo who have transcended generations. Travolta posting, my dearest Olivia, you made all of our lives so much better. Your impact was incredible. I love you so much. Yours from the first moment I saw you and forever. You're Danny. You're John. Then there was the talent who followed in her footsteps. Kylie Minogue saying, Since I was 10 years old, I have loved and looked up to Olivia Newton-John, and I always will. Hugh Jackman said, One of the great privileges of my life was getting to know her. Not only was she one of the most talented people I've known, she was one of the most open-hearted, generous and funny. She was a one-of-a-kind spirit. The last time I introduced her, I described her as the most popular Australian on the planet. And nothing's changed since then to make me change my opinion. There's no one who'll have a bad word to say about Olivia Newton-John.